Okay, evening. Here we are out there. That's where the Hurricane Hydronic Heating is. I'm taking a break. I'm going to show you something here about the next step on how we're going to test the fuel pump. All right, the fuel pump goes up to an air bleeder. And then it goes to a zero PSI regulator. Unless air is flowing through that, the fuel pump is not going to give any fuel out through the solenoid, even though the solenoid's open. So here we go, you have to have air. All right, it's kind of a backup system, plus it's the way it works. Here you go. So the fuel pump is right there. So that's a ground symbol. So we go to the blue wire, fourth pin. Remember the nine pin connector I showed you on the other videos. It's exactly like that. You've got the big one and the nine on the side, and I think it's 13. All right, now let me show you why. We're going to deadhead the fuel pump. Okay. The fuel comes in, gets drawn in by the fuel pump. Goes to the air bleed. All right. I'll hook my pressure gauge into the air bleed. Okay. Then there's a fuel filter. Then that goes to the regulator. Well, the regulator is like a miniature carburetor. It's zero PSI. It needs the air flowing, which we did in the video prior to this, the air check for uh, PSI and amperage. So I'm going to bleed it out this way, let the pump free go. You can see how many ants we draw. Just a good check. And then eventually we'll tie the two together so I can show you the jet spray. But in this video, we're just going to do the amp draw and the pressure check on the fuel pump. Okay. Okay, we're going out there and we're going to do it. Here we go. Okay. So we got the blue wire off the 9-pin connector. All right, one, two, three, and fourth wire. We got the positive hooked up. We got the amp meter on positive. We got it on 10 amp scale right there. We have uh, zero amps. We have zero PSI. Here we go. We're going to attach to the blue wire. All right. Okay, we got about 810 milliamps. We've about four or five PSI deadhead, and there you go, she's coming up. We might see six at her. Okay, this is deadhead. That's a good way. Remember, it's, it's up in there, the air bleed right there, that brass one. Let me see if I can shine it right there. We got hooked into that one. That el elbow is right there. All right, so back to normal. So about 6 PSI, about 0.87. That's how much you're supposed to get off. That was the blue wire, right? Just like I showed you. All right, now we're going to take it all apart, combine it together to where we get air and fuel coming through the solenoid, and we'll see the spray pattern. You know how to test now. You know how to test each individual component. All right, we'll even check the amp draw of the solenoid kind of important kind of not all right so i'm gonna shut this off now. all right um remember test not guess is the motto so i don't know this is fourth video we're going to do it in little chunks uh, what's my motto you know test not guess all right what's the other one safe travels may you can't fire us burn bright till we meet again where are we going to meet probably that garage in there right where we can do some troubles and some school. You can make personal videos of me going over every aspect of your RV, even stuff like this. Uh, email me at jeff at rvdiagnostics.com where else we're going to meet on the road. I'll beat my horn and wave to oncoming traffic. The other place we might meet is at the filling station, fuel outlets. I'll be getting diesel, you'll be getting gas. I don't know, I might have to get gas from my I'm a toad back here, the car towed a little Honda Civic 2000. Um, what's the other place we might meet? Campground. All right, if you see me, just come on over and say hello. I'll give you a business card, or if you belong to the website, that's good. If you belong to the YouTube channel, that's good. If you belong to the Facebook RV Diagnostics and Troubleshooting, that's good. And we can sit around and talk about stuff. And usually, I don't work when I'm on vacation camping. Um, if it's a cool day and my wife's got other stuff to do and, you know, we can kind of hang out at your RV and do some stuff. I ain't going to do nothing. I ain't going to break a sweat. I can tell you that. All right. So 
Thank you very much. It's Jeff from RV Diagnostics.